So that's gonna be your... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did this... Huh? Oh, don't stop on me here. Oh, you can't give up on me. Oh, boy. Here we go. We're going down in the crater. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We're still going down. Let's go. Wait. Sounds like aliens or something over the radio. That's kind of creepy. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and yes, folks, it has been a while since we last played this game, and I'm kind of excited, because we're back. Now, we have been doing some multiplayer Monday, but we haven't done solo Scrap Mechanic in probably like, I don't know, a, a week? Week and a half? Uh, you guys probably keep more track of this than I do. But yes, we are back here today, and we're going to be checking out some very awesome creations, and we're going to discuss the potential new theme here. I don't know what this new theme's gonna be. Maybe it's just gonna be the toilets. We're gonna have a toilet theme. We're gonna do a toilet world and it's gonna be all about toilets. We'll build big ones, small ones, flying ones. Actually, you know what? I better stop talking because somebody's probably gonna be in the comment section like, yeah, Komodo, that sounds great. Do the toilet world. So, if you wanna see the toilet world, hit that thumbs up button. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes of Scrap Mechanic, be sure to comment below. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you could, uh, maybe hit that bell. I've been hearing some weird stuff with the YouTubes lately with the uh, sub boxes. So the bell will inform you that I'm uploading. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and float on over and check this stuff out. Houston, we potentially have a Scrap Man flyer that's hovering over there. How did I forget that? Huh. Well... Anyways, we are on Mars here. Obviously, uh, this is Scrap Mechanic Mars, so the same rules of real Mars don't apply, but you're gonna notice something. We did this last for your creations episode, except for we had like the blue sky and it just looked like we were in the desert, but now it finally looks like we're in Mars. Like, look at that glorious sky. I am using the space mod. This is by Dart Frog and Friends. Uh, it is available on the workshop, but you have to do kind of an external download for the skybox here, but I must say, this gives me a really good feeling. I missed a mod like this. I used to have the Durf Moon mod, and oh, that was a glorious mod with our moon base. I miss those days. But anyways, we're here to check out some cool things here. So I'm going to pull my lift out, and we're going to probably go over this thing here. You're probably wondering, what is this? Uh, this is a Mars base. Now, my potential theme that I thought about was, hey, let's do like a Mars survival thing. So, uh, I talked to some buddies and somebody put this together. So, let me pull out the lift real quick. Alright, so the Tombster. You might have heard that name a long time ago. He actually built a couple things for the Micro City. But, I tell you what, he has gone all out for the Mars survival. Because, geez, you've got tons of stuff on this workshop now. So, he basically called these kits. Uh, you can put these kits together any way you want. Uh, you can download them all, say if you want just the curved hallways, uh, you want the domes, you want all the different sections, these are the T's for the halls. Uh, you can download these and assemble your base however you want to. I love creations like this, it's a multi-part creation. Uh, you can download them all with the click of a button because he's got them in a collection. So he's got that, he's got his little flag, which I believe his corporation, which you see the Komodo America is back, they're right over here, but the Space Buster Corporation. So, we're gonna check this out. Now I know this looks a little bit funny, and I'm gonna explain something here. The terrain on Mars is really uneven, so this base kind of needed a flat area. It's so big, this is the example base, and yeah, if we build a base, it's going to have to be elevated like this. We'll have to put like stilts or something down. But anyways, we're going to walk into here. It looks like we have a rover that is ready to go exploring. Except for the whole fact it's got like, I don't know, half a story drop here and it might kill itself. But uh, does that actually work? Hold on. Let's snip the butt here. Let's go. No. no. Oh, there we go. Uh, do we get in here? Oh, that's a light. There we go. No, there it is. <gasps> Visible block. Okay, this is kind of cool. There's a light. Oh, it does drive. Yeah, we could drive this out on Mars. It's got a little rover here. I'm still hoping to get Scrap Mechanic to get a camera block. Because, geez, that would be awesome to be in like one area. Say we're in the base and we send our uh, drone or a rover out. And we have a little camera attached to it. That would be so cool. 
What is the correct procedure to enter in a base out here? I don't know. Uh, we're just gonna click a button. Here we go. Twist the knob. All right, piston. Oh, that was cool. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the airlock. So I guess we want to hit this first, kind of lock her down. Which, by the way, hold on. Let me pull this out. Well, actually, you kind of saw it. The uh, the character. Ooh, I'm stuck in here. The character model does have like the little spacesuit, like you saw from the intro. Pretty cool little thing uh, by Dart Frog and them. Let's go ahead and hit this here. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought that was going to kill us. So I was like, oh, this isn't pleasant. Alright, so I'm assuming we can just close that. Our airlock is sealed. And check this out. We are in our little space base. So if I build a space base, it's probably going to be a little more, I would say, private than this one. This one is, uh, this is pretty open. <laughs> like, if you're, uh, where's the bathroom, actually? I probably need to locate that before I say anything. Uh, you feel a little vulnerable here, but I really do love the domes here. I mean, I've been playing a little bit of Surviving Mars recently, and I just think that's absolutely cool. And oh, you see the little radar dishes moving? That's cool. Wait. Sounds like aliens or something over the radio. That's kind of creepy. Maybe we're already making contact out here. This could be really spooky. Could you imagine being on a base on Mars by yourself? I'm having like Matt Damon style like flashbacks. That is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, uh, The Martian is excellent. All right, what's this button do? Is this lights? Okay, so we got lights. So we're gonna walk out to this uh, this portion of the base. Looks like we have some bedding here, so we can go in, sleep. Actually, I like the way that looks. Looks like there's actually a cover on there. That's cool. So you've got that. Uh, I'm assuming more lighting here. Got the bulb, and you got the top light. Cool. I can hear a radio on. I know that I know that turned that on uh, earlier, and I was like, man, I kind of wish I didn't. Uh, it's over there on the other side, though. I don't care. All right, let's go over. Oh, what is this? Is this the uh, potentially the bathroom facilities? Wait, no, this is like a lab or something. Dude, check that out. This is really neat looking, actually. Wait, is it the bath? No, this isn't the bathroom. Oh, look, solar panels. I like this a lot. This is so, uh, it's kind of cozy. I'm digging this. Uh, there's another airlock. Wait a minute. Is that a landing pad? Oh, I know he's got some ships and stuff. We actually got one of them spawned, but it's way too big for this. Hold on, let's pop that open. All right, here we go. Let's go here. Uh, wait, oh. Oh, no, I left that open. Oh, we just potentially killed everybody in the base. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is definitely... Oh, this is a landing pad. This is cool. So you can land here. And then you can go to each modular section, which looks like a, looks like we have another lab. Right? Oh, I forgot that wasn't on a dome. Dang it! Just walked right off that, didn't I? So yeah, there's another lab over here. Let's go and hit it. There's a, I see another. Looks like bedroom. I don't know. It looks like a maybe a greenhouse over there. Let's go ahead and get to that side. Uh, squeeze my butt through here. My butt almost can't fit through these doors. Uh, let's see, let's go over here. Looks like we have another, this looks like an actual lab here, like a, like a chemist lab or something. I'm liking this. Turn these on. Oh! Oh, is it like a little heating table? I don't know what they call it. What is the, uh, little heater that is under the little, you know, thingy with the lab stuff and things? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about here, but this is actually, uh, really creative. And there's a little mixer that you put the, the things on. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and go over here. Uh, that appears to be... Is that a telescope over there? That looks cool. Hold on, let's open this up. This is really creative. Yeah, when he started to build this, he kept, like, talking to me about different things to, that he was doing. And I was like, man, that is a lot. And yes, it truly is. He's done a ton of things here. Uh, this is really neat. I'm liking this a lot. Cool. All right, so we got that. Uh, let's go to the other side of the base. Okay, oh, here it is! Here is the... the shower. Okay, we got the shower. Still doesn't explain, where's the poopers at? Oh, they're the poopers! Oh, Han! This is like gonna be the best part of the base here. Let's go in here. Wait, so... Oh, uh, that's a urinal, I think. Hit that button and flush it. Uh, is this... You know, I understand the privacy here, but... Does that kind of defeat the purpose if you got a window to your rear end? Like, what if somebody's out there in a rover? You can see you're doing your business here. All right, so we're heading over to the greenhouse here. This is really neat. Okay. So I'm assuming the you get the light here. You got the water tanks to water the plants. That way we can sustain life on Mars here. 
I'm digging that. I had a huge greenhouse on my moon base. I remember that. That was really cool looking. You know, I wonder if I can salvage that file. I'm not really sure if I can or can't. Uh, this would appear to be a power room. Uh, hit that. I don't know. Oh. Is this a power room? Yeah, this is gonna be a power room. This is neat. <laughs> that was cool. Maybe this is a power- or maybe this is the oxygen too. That could also be that. Yeah, I would assume that a base has like multiple like backups for power and oxygen because if one gets destroyed, you might want to have something else in place. Alright, so it would appear that we've walked through the whole base. Very creative, but that isn't the only thing that he has. Now, he has a ton of other items on his workshop. I'm not going to be able to go through all of it. Uh, he's got some other ships and stuff, but he's got one over here that caught my eye, and we are going to check that bad boy out. Alright, so do keep in mind, you can go in there and pretty much put any of these base kits together. He does have some different ones that weren't attached to the main base, like say the office here. Uh, but yeah, if you want to download any of those, it's down in the description. But, he also has something else here. He's got this, the Space Buster Cargo. This is a cargo ship with the bay for transport, seven seats. Keys are one, two, three, and four for tilt. Five is up, six is brake, seven is the landing gear up. Eight, hover mode. It only works with the gear down. That's important. Okay, let's see here. Wow. Actually, I want to show you guys something. Check this out. Now, when you put it on the lift, watch this thing come off the lift. Here we go. Click. That is neat. It's like a little elevator comes down. The whole ship comes down, too. Hold on, let's get on the lift here. And, oop. Whoop. You know, this looks slightly luxurious. Like, I like the little computers in the seats here. Uh, is this the cargo door? Okay, so we can load up something a little bit bigger. Say we need to load up something big for our uh, space mission here. Let's go ahead and put that up here. There we go. Cool. Uh, let's get into the pilot seat here. You know, I kind of wish you can click the buttons from the, uh, say when you're setting down here and you want to manually hit that, that would be really cool. Like, say you can hit them here and there. Uh, but you can't do that right now. So, anyways, let's go ahead. All right, one, two, three, and four, all your tilts. Okay, gonna remember that. So that's, that looks like it's tilt down, tilt up, tilt left, tilt right. Five's gonna lift us here. Okay, is there, do I need to keep myself in one position or does this, okay, this falls. Okay, you got your six is your back. So that's gonna be your, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, where did this, Huh? Wait. Are we in space now? Does that count as space? What is hap- Wait, no, the skybox has got to be here somewhere, right? Oh, let's kill some speed. Uh, we have lost the red planet. We are in space right now. That's going to be awkward for, uh, crafts. Oh, let's see. Wait for it to reappear. We're falling back down. I can somewhat see the base. Waiting for the land to appear. This is kind of creepy. Uh-oh. Um. Oh! That was, ow. That was cool. Oh, we broke the ship. Uh, let me get another one of these in the air. I just know, uh, I gotta know not to go too high on this. Alright, this thing's, uh, it's a little tricky to fly. You kind of have to manually control your altitude. Uh, because it doesn't say, it doesn't like stabilize itself, so you gotta be up and down. I know the land looks a little bit weird. I can assure you, we are moving. Let's try to stay low here, so... Takes a little bit of button dancing, but I can do this. Oh, and the land just disappeared again. Ooh, that turns really nice, I must say. Here we go, back up. Forward is W. Now we got to stabilize this thing a bit, so we'll tilt it back. Oh yeah, this works just fine. It just takes a little bit of button dancing, but once you get that nailed down, you're good to go. Let's go ahead and put uh, those up real quick. There we go. We are definitely going forward here. Okay, so we need to tilt ourselves up a bit. Yeah, typically it feels like it wants to tilt down just a bit whenever you're, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, is this the end of the, end of the world here? Or... No, it's not. So yeah, it likes to tilt down a little bit whenever you're, uh, when you have those landing gear up. And then now it's kind of naturally tilting up. So we'll let off again. Uh, we're gonna, oh, oh, correct it, correct it, correct it, save it, save it, save it. There we go. Uh, back that way. 
There goes the nose. We're going straight down. What's this look like, like from the first person? Oh, it's frightening. That is, oh, oh. A little tricky to land and fly, but I must say, I actually really like this. It's, it is stable once you get a hold of it. It just takes a little bit more effort with the controls, but I must say, still, very, very nice looking ship. I like this cargo ship a lot. That uh, feels like something we could be going around here on Mars with. Alright, we're gonna do a little Star Wars in here, and we're also gonna try to find our base. So this is a Y-Wing. This is by Exploder's Eyes, or Exploder Eyes. I think that's his name. And I must say, this is a nice model. I'm really impressed by this. Uh, this looks pretty much exactly like the Y-Wing. I used to have a really cool Y-Wing toy. Uh, you could blow the back end off of it. Man, I missed that. Oh boy. So yeah, this is really awesome looking. Uh, there's the droid there. Uh, there is a duck in the cockpit, but the seat is actually right here. So question is, how stable is the Y-Wing? Let's go ahead and hit one. Okay, is it W-A-S-D? Oh, it is W-A-S-D. Okay, hold on, what's two do? Two... Oh, does that stabilize it at one altitude? Or is it... It's slightly dropping, is it not? No, it isn't. It was a little bit. Okay, what are the other keys? Okay, that's your forward tilt is three. Four is backwards tilt. Okay, we want to keep that. I'm assuming five and six are side to side. Yep. Okay, seven is non-existent. So this is just W... Hey, there's the base! Yeah, it's just W-A-S-D. So, let's go ahead and counter that forward. There we go. Let's go and get cruising and just see how this thing works. Oh, that looks so epic here in the space. Like, that is awesome. Oh, yeah, buddy. Uh, man, that would make a really good screenshot. <laughs> You're probably looking at maybe something that's in the screenshot right now. Uh, let's go up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Can we fire the guns? Maybe that's one thing that we can't do. Uh, let's go. Oh, we need to carry ourselves up. Oh, that was my bad, Han. I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay, let's go. There we go. Come on, Scrap Mechanic Camera. I love you and I hate you. But sometimes it's good to have the lock camera or the orbit cam, and then other times it's just a nightmare. But this is okay. Alright, what is the... Is there a cockpit? I guess no, there isn't, because we'll be right here. <laughs> Poor duck. Alright, let's go ahead and go forward here. Dude, this is awesome. I really, really like this. Uh, let's go... Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a little canyon run here. Let's get rid of two there. That way to lift up. Actually, uh, this is a little bit different flying method than I'm used to. This uh, is somewhat... I always call the Moonbow method. This is a little different than that, too. Like, this has its own little unique approach because uh, it, isn't, uh, it isn't all the way stable. Like, you use a combination of the one and the two keys because one lifts you, but two will slow you down off of that lift uh, must say it takes a little bit to get used to but not bad kind of like it actually where's the base at? oh there it is oh no <laughs> I'll get to the base get to the base oh never mind wow actually did I mention that it's got like an automatic landing gear hold on let me put it off this this is really cool if you can actually make a legit landing uh, you can put it down here now we go boom there's a there's actually a sensor right there by the way so we release, and there it goes. That is cool. Very impressive. Uh, he also has some other ships on his workshop. We're not going to get around to those today, but anyways, uh, now that we know where our base is, we can get back to it and get back to work. Now, question is, is the scrap flyer still? Oh, yeah, the scrap flyer is still there. It's good to know. All right, I've got one more creation here. This is the Venture Rover. This is by Lady Scalabro. Now, Lady Scalabro... The workshop is so amazing. It's got everything from space. It's really a lot of futuristic space themes, but it is absolutely fantastic. With some of the creations that are on there, they just absolutely blow my mind. So yes, have you ever wanted a fine ride on Mars? Well, now you got it. You can bring everyone with you on the trip in this two-seater beast with two beds inside, a workshop in the back to fix things if you encounter difficulties, and a cockpit with an amazing view. All right, kind of talks about the uh, the mods needed, and I guess we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this. Oh, that is cool looking. Actually, I like this middle wheel. Is that for stability, possibly? Or is that move? It's very possible that moves. No, it's on engine. Huh, that is ridiculous looking. 
So yeah, we've got a rover here. Now the uh, the outside looks great. I'm pretty sure the inside looks just as good. So let's go ahead and uh, hit this. Oh, that was a cool door. I like how the bottom folds down. You got the pistons that raise the top up. Let's climb up in here. There we go. Got a little view of the base. Ah, it's got a nice little sunroof here. You can see the stars. That is really awesome. Okay, let's see. Where are the beds? Oh, here are the beds. Oh, let's hit this. That was lights in there. Uh, is it using an AD sensor? What is that for? Is that for some sort of turning? Uh, there's a little bar there. There's your two sensors. So when we move the wheel, it's going to cover one of the other sensor up. Now, why is it doing that? Possibly blinkers? I don't know. Huh. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go up into here. This looks like uh, maybe your beds are right here. This is kind of like a research storage area back here. And I'm going to go over the hump here. And here's the cockpit. Oh, that's a lot of glass. That is amazing. All right, so we're driving from the right. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit the one key. Uh, oh, is that the back door? Okay, the back, back door is one key. The two key is lights. There we go. What's the AD sensor for? Hold on. Um, I still have not figured... Wait, is there a delay? Wait, the turning's on an AD. Okay, that's what's going on here. This, uh, my wheel is delayed right now. And here, let me show you guys. Look in the cockpit. Okay, when I turn, those wheels should go instantly. But they are actually on controllers. So when I was going to, say, turn over here... That should have happened a lot faster. If that was directly connected, say the bearings on the wheels were directly connected to the steering wheel, that would have been instant. So that's what the AD sensor is for. Now, the purpose of that, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, this is working just fine. The steering, it actually, once you get going, it doesn't feel delayed at all. Uh, I'm just not 100% sure of the purpose of it, but working fine on my clock. This works really actually... Uh, I like the steering. I like the way the back wheels turn, the front wheels turn, but the middle wheels stay stationary. Uh, he's actually done a really good job of hiding the suspension back here too. Uh, so there is quite a bit of travel, so you can get over these uh or get over this rough terrain. There's even suspension on that little middle wheel, which I'm assuming that's there for some sort of just stability or something. So you got that. Oh yeah, conquering those hills. Oh, that was actually really cool. Oh, this is a deep crater, huh? Can we power out of this? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's using uh, electric motors, so they just get that torque, and they can just easily climb hills. Uh, you can kind of see in there. I do like also how the, uh, the top lights turn with the, uh, the steering wheel also. Uh, very, very cool design choice. And overall, just aesthetically, it looks awesome. Like, the shapes, the use of the metal blocks on top, the wedge pieces, uh, the can we conquer this hill... Uh oh, we're sliding a bit. Come on, you gotta get those tires to grip. Oh, you can do it. Oh, this looks epic. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, we're spinning our little tires there. Wait, is only the... No, they're all powered. It's just the backs are having problems. The, the front and the middle one are just spinning right now. The back's trying to do... The other tire's job, but it can't do it, huh? Maybe we can hit the hill on the other side. Let's go and back off it real quick. And let's get moving over here. Hmm. This crater seems to be really steep. Actually, right here. There's our entry into the crater. We got to be able to make it up this, right? Uh, come on, buddy. Oh, don't give out on me now. What is in this crater, haunt? Let's back off here. I should be able to hit it if I'm over to the other side a little bit more. Let's go about right here. And here we go. Let's try to power up into the crater. Here we go for Komodo America. And there we go. Oh, don't stop on me here. Oh, you can't give up on me. Oh, boy. Here we go. We're going down in the crater. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. We're still going down. This is a deep crater. Wow. You know, I'm not really sure we're getting out of this. <laughs> so maybe this is where we need to end the episode. Oh, oh, let's climb in the back of the rover here. There we go. Hit the button. 
Oh, yeah. Well, we made it. Anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you do want to see more space, I thought about uh, when I initially talked to some, uh, some guys about this, uh, I talked about possibly building a base on here, and then everybody started kind of jumping in and started to put some base pieces together. But I still think I want to do my base, like, or my style of base, because I probably won't go for the whole, like, everything's glass part. I'll probably have a little bit more, like, metal and uh, walls and stuff. And it would probably look a little bit more tent-like, kind of like what you see in the Martian. Uh, so maybe I'll be doing that here very soon. Also, for the train people, the train world hasn't been forgotten. I'm just still debating on how I want to approach it. Uh, there's been several things that have popped up in the workshop as far as trains and how they work in Scrap Mechanic. And I'm not 100% sure how I want to approach it because the train world is a bit of a task. It's a big task. So hopefully we'll get back to that soon. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Scrap Mechanic series. Uh, be sure to comment below if you want to see more of this as it will show me that this is truly something that we should go forward with. Or we can always just do the little viewer creations here with the space creations and just call this the viewer creations Mars world. But anyways, folks, hope you have a great day and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.